Chris Guns here with the light heavyweight champion, in my opinion, the best in the weight class. The one that the other champions in the division avoid like the plague. He's the WBO light heavyweight champion, the one and only, the crusher, Sergey Kovalev. Thanks for taking time to talk right before your fight week kicks off, Sergey, for your August 2nd fight against Australian unbeaten Blake Caparello. How'd this camp go, Sergey? And not a lot of people in the boxing world know about Caparello. How do you prepare for a for a fight against a guy that you don't know so much about? I don't know too about, about Caparello. I, I know nothing about Caparello. Just to know that he's a tall, left hand at my toe, and uh, he's undefeated. You know, just to uh, throw his uh, couple rounds. How do you, how do you develop a fight plan to fight a guy that that you don't see? Do you watch the videos or do you let your trainer John David Jackson or Don Turner? How, how do you look look at Caparello or do you watch films at all? I don't have any plan for fight. I have one plan, just to fight and uh, kick his kick, uh, knock him out. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that's why the people love you. And, and because not too many people know about Caparello, the excitement is pretty much just because Sergey Kovalev is fighting again. It's not for the expectation of a super fight, which is what the people want and you yourself want. Everybody knows that you've been calling out the other champions of the division like Bernard Hopkins and more particularly Adana Stevenson. And you you've seen... You seemed like you were all set to fight until Adonis found his, his way out and ran away, pretty much. And I know that hold it on, frustrated. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to speak about any, anybody uh, except uh, Caparella. My next opponent, uh, Blake Caparella. Yeah, and, and I understand that. And after after my after my fight, we can speak about uh, somebody. Okay, and, but but right, but right now I have a focus on my next fight. Yep, and, and but I did want to mention though, when when I was watching Showtime, when when Adonis Stevenson was fighting though, they didn't even mention your name. The 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 people who like Al Bernstein, really recognizable names and and people who I look up to in the sport, Brian Kenny, they didn't even mention you. Does does that bother you at all? But I didn't understand the, your question. Your name wasn't brought up on Showtime. They they didn't even mention your name. Did that bother you? They didn't say Sergey Kovalev. They no talk about you. Did it bother you? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't understand again. Yeah. Uh, I have limit uh, limit uh, English. I, I don't understand your question. No, you you're pretty good with the English though, but they did not say I, your name. I don't understand what you asking now. You know, like I. Okay, when when Adonis Stevenson did uh, fight, when Adonis Stevenson fought on Showtime. Can you repeat? I, I, sorry, I can repeat again. I don't want to speak about uh, anybody except uh, my next fight, August second. Okay, and, and you are a professional. Well, I realize this. Is, I, I, I have focus on the, my next fight. Yep. It is next Saturday. So wow. why I need to speak about somebody? You know, it's uh, after fight, please. Okay, describe the training camp for Blake Caparello. How how long did you train for? Um, two months. Two months. Uh, one uh, two months and uh, two parts of my prepared. Uh, of my prepare to this fight. Uh, first part it uh, was a physical in the mountain training camp, and the uh, second part is the boxing boxing camp. The sparring, the meet, everything uh, only boxing. 
and you, you train with John David Jackson, great, great trainer and a two-time champion in his own right. Why do you guys work so well together? Yes, I, I, I'm training with uh, John David Jackson and uh, CC the Forest now, and uh, also uh, also assistant uh, Derek Santos, and uh, it's a great uh, team. It's good, very good team for me, and we we did a great uh, great job for this training camp. We we are ready for the fight. Now, how, how do, does your mood change as the fight gets closer? Some guys like to stay to themselves, and some guys become more intense, I guess, where where people don't want to go around them. How how is your mood so close to fight time? Do you get do you get do you, does your mood change at all? Sorry, can you repeat again your question? I didn't understand. Do you change? Do you become more intense? As the fight gets close, or do you stay the same? Your attitude. Um, you, you mean about my prepare or uh, fight? I mean about people coming around you. Like, do you do you stay the same, Sergey, or do you become different in any way? No, I, I, I'm still same, Sergey. When I well, when I was uh, myself, I'm. By, uh, be by myself, you know, like that, you know. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know how you explain it in English, and, uh, yes, I'm still by myself, I still, I still by myself. The same old Sergey. And we're actually going to get a peek at, at you right before your fight, because HBO is going to air uh, two days with Sergey Kovalev tonight, actually, after the golovkin Gil fight. We're gonna get a, a peek at that. How how did you did you see the show yet? And how did you feel about HBO's two days with Sergey Kovalev? I didn't I, I didn't I didn't see this show, but I'm very excited uh, that uh, it will be tonight uh, um, premiere my <laughs> two days with Sergey Kovalev. It's, uh, for for me, very interesting. Watch myself. Uh, HBO very professional team, and I really like HBO watching. And uh, we'll see, we'll see after after, after fight uh, Gennady Golovkin tonight. I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna watch. Uh, I want to watch my two days. <laughs> yeah, can't wait! I can't wait. They followed you around a couple of days leading up to your last fight with Cedric Agnew. And that's what we're gonna see tonight, and I, I can't wait for it. How? How? What do you think of the Golovkin Gil fight tonight? Who? Who do you think's gonna win that one? Uh, Golovkin will, will will win this fight. I think. I think so. Yeah. It's um, it's easy. Yeah, and work it's, for him. <laughs> it's easy job for him. You think easy it's work. Easy, easy day for him. <laughs> <laughs> And HBO does love you, it's no secret, because they, they put a lot of attention on you. And, and can you go anywhere now without people recognizing you? Or, or do they see you and know who you are right away? Uh, I didn't understand. Can you repeat again, please? Because you're, you're on HBO, a lot of people are watching you and they see you. Can you go out without anybody recognizing you now, or does, everywhere you go, if people are around you? Uh, who recognize me and ask him to uh, take a picture with me, uh, I, I, I do it, uh, no <clears throat> problem. Uh, so you like the attention? Uh, excuse me? You like the attention? Uh, yeah, sure. It's uh, it, it's good for for my fans. You know, it's uh, it if this is good for my fans, I'm happy. Uh, if uh, this helps somebody to get some get better, you know, like in the they sport, somebody a kid uh, want uh, to to take a picture with me, and uh, I for any kids like uh, example like. Uh, like, uh, like yes, like example, you know, like uh, for me, uh, when I was a kid, I watched uh, 
fight uh, Roy Jones fight, you know, like, and I wanted and uh, I was a dream to get uh, into the ring, uh, same rings in Las Vegas, MGM Grand, uh, or New York Madison Square Garden, and to be on HBO, and I'm I'm already on HBO, but uh, not uh, Madison Square Garden and uh, no Las Vegas. But I think so. This is uh, in future what I can uh, I can again uh, get it. Yeah, and, and you mentioned how you're a fan of Roy Jones. He's actually fighting tonight. What do you think of that? Roy Jones still still fighting, mid forties. I, I think I think so that uh, he needs to uh, stop for his boxing career. He is a great uh, commentator right now on HBO, and uh, I think so. Uh, but he needs to uh, still be in the boxing, in the boxing, uh, just uh, but not like a boxer. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel because too. Because already, already he not young, uh, not young man, you know, like not 30 uh, years old, not 35. He's already 40, 46, yeah, or 40, 44. Yeah. I, I, I don't remember how old is he, but uh, he's already. He, he needs to stop. I, 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 it's my opinion. Yeah. Do you think, can you imagine fighting at that age? <laughs> 40, 46 years Maybe. old. Do you think you will be fighting at, at that age? With who? With Roger? No, no. Will, will Sergey Kovalev fight at 46 years old? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. I, it's not important. I, I know that you won't be fighting at 46 years old. And and ah, uh, <laughs> if I will be forty six, <laughs> yeah. If if you are forty six, no, no, I, I no 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 fight <laughs> when I will be forty six. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much. Enough, uh, enough. Uh, uh, under under forty, enough. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Hey, what do you do in between fights? What else do you do when you're not training for a fight? What is wh what do you do for fun? No, no, when you're not training for a fight, when you're not doing anything, you're at home, what, what do you do? What's, what's fun to, to Sergey Kovalev? What else do you do besides box? Mm, I, don't, I didn't understand the question. Do you, do you, what do you do? What, 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 do, what, do, what do you, what I do for what? When you are not boxing. What kind of things do you like to do? Do you play tennis? Do you ah when when I when I after between fights? Yes. Ah uh, between fights, I, I'm I'm like I really like uh, traveling. You know, like uh, uh, I'm traveling a lot uh, to Russia, to, to Europe. Uh, yes, I'm traveling. I, I'm like uh, traveling and drive my car. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, be with my family, with my love wife, you know, like, uh, and very soon I will be father on October, middle of October. You're, you're expecting a baby? Yeah. That's yeah. great. Congratulations. Boy, boy or girl? Uh, boy. Wow. What's his name going to be? Small Crusher. Small Crusher. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's his name going to be? Sergey? Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah. Maybe Sergey. Maybe uh, uh, not Sergey. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, I can't. I can't say because uh, I need. I need to get him in in my hands, and uh, <laughs> I, I will give him name. <laughs> how, how much weight do you put on? What do you weigh when you're not boxing? Two hundred pounds. Uh, I'm sorry. How, how many did you say? Two hundred pounds, I'm guessing, or one ninety-five. How much do you weigh when you're not boxing? Yeah, one one ninety, one ninety, around one ninety, one eighty, one eighty-nine, like that. Do you want to stay at light heavyweight for your entire career, or do you think that one day you might move up to cruiserweight or maybe even heavyweight? Uh, maybe in future, yes, but. Uh, I want to still be in the white heavy only, and uh, I, I, I should to, I should to get uh, four titles, minimum three titles in my division. 
And mm-hmm. after this, I will think what I need to do, what I should to do, you know. It. I like you at light heavyweight. We'll see. We'll see. It, it, it's boxing, you know. It's not. Uh, it's not Tucker. It's. It's not chill. It's. Uh, it's boxing. Mm-hmm. It, it's not chess. It's the boxing, you know. Like. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know yet. Yeah. But uh, my first goal, I I want to get uh, one more title, and after one more title, I I should. I should, and I would. I would like to get one more title again. Mm-hmm. And, and yes. you're getting more and more popular with with the people after every fight. If if they watch you fight, they're gonna love you. How how do the people reach out to you on, on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram? Let the people know how they can follow you. Yeah, a lot of people watching me. Congratulations and uh, everything. Asking some. Somebody asking, uh, uh, even uh, that not with uh, a lot, of, a lot of questions, you know. Like, but uh, I'm alone. I, I only one. But the friends, a lot of friends, you know. Like, and I can't answer to anybody right now. I, uh, I created uh, uh, my, uh, my new page on Facebook for. For my friends, Sergey Crusher Kovalev. Mm-hmm. If uh, who want who want to follow me, uh, please like uh, and uh, they will be see all my pictures from my cell phone, from my all, all my boxing history. Yeah, and, and it's well worth it for any Sergey Kovalev fan. Follow him on Facebook. Sergey the Crusher Kovalev. Kovalev, I appreciate you taking the time to talk, and, and good luck next Saturday. And here's hoping Thank that you so much. after this fight that we're, Thank you're so entering. Thank you so much, huh? Bye-bye. Bye, Sergey. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. You're welcome. Bye.